Hey Tubies, Scott here. I'm the old dude with the new bees. Got a new video coming your way, so roll that beautiful bee footage. Hey boys and girls, Tubies, this is Scott here from Wee's Bees. We're doing something a little different today, trying to do a little tutorial for everybody that doesn't know or understand a lot about bees. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a few things and tell you a few things about bees. So let's start off with our little visual aids here. These are the eggs. All right. Now granted, they have been uh, enlarged quite a bit so you guys can see them and see how it works basically the queen will lay anywhere from a thousand to two thousand eggs a day now when she does this she'll lay one in each of the honeycombs alright so those things right there are what they look like uh, blown up quite a bit otherwise they're about the size of a pinhead Now the queen, she'll lay different kinds of eggs depending on what kind of eggs the hive needs. She's able to lay fertilized eggs that produce queens, sterile female workers, and unfertilized eggs that produce male drones. Okay, so then after three to four days, they will hatch and they will look a lot like this. Now of course you know they'll start off smaller and grow as the days go by so it's usually three to four days of the eggs before they hatch into the larvae which is what this is. It looks like a worm or a grub. Now right now is an important stage in a bee's life. What will happen is depending on what the needs of the hive are will depend on what each one of these larvae will receive for food. So, let's start off with the first one. If the hive needs a queen, this little larvae right here will be fed royal jelly. And royal jelly is something that's secreted from the glands in the heads of worker bees. Okay? So, as you can see, that's what the larvae looks like when it's you know, like really huge, probably, I don't know, 100 times that size. All right. So then also, if this is going to be a worker bee, then it all it's fed is uh, the bee bread, which is a mixture of pollen and nectar. Okay. So this is the pupae. All right. Now. That's the second stage. The third stage. Oh. Second stage is the larvae. My bad. Okay. Now the third stage is the pupae. And as you can see, uh, it changes a lot. They, uh, they don't eat anymore. And they lose their worm shape and they start to develop their eyes, wings, and legs. This stage takes about six days for a future queen and 11 days for a worker and even more for a drone because we all know that uh, a queen from start to finish takes 16 days, give or take. A worker bee, which would be either a nurse bee or a forager bee, would take, uh, what do we say, 21 days. And then the drone takes approximately 27 days. So each one of these bees, depending on how the queen and the hive makes them, actually tells uh, 
what they're going to be, how long it's going to take for them to actually go from the stages into a full, fully formed bee. So as you can see here, you've got the eyes, the legs are forming, and the wings are starting to form. Okay, so now with all those stages, the first three stages we have, well, I'll wait for a minute for that. All right, so here is the fourth stage, and this is the actual adult honeybee. As you can see, uh, they're fully formed. Okay, now with the adult honeybee, depending on their jobs and what the bees are will depend on how long they live. All right, say for instance, your worker bees or your forager bees live on the average of 20 to 40 days. Their jobs include uh, taking care of the baby bees and all the larvae and eggs and pupae in the hive. Also, they uh, work as guard bees along with the drones to uh, guard the entrances against attacks from hornets or uh, wasps and, and uh, what do you call them? Uh, I can't think of the name now. Uh, wax moths or hive beetles. Because the hive beetles like to get in there and eat the honey and, and put larvae in there and just make a mess. And as you saw in one of our videos uh, with our collapsed hive the uh, hive beetles and the wax moths just got in there and just completely destroyed everything. It's just a total mess. All right, also, uh, along with different worker bees, as I told you, you've got the nurse bees who tend to all the bees in the hive and they rarely ever leave the hive. Then uh, you've got the field workers or the foragers, and they're usually the ones that, that have the shortest life of the 20 to 40 days because they basically work themselves to death. You know, that's that's all they do is fly back and forth, back and forth all day bringing either pollen, nectar, or water back to the hive. And that's their job. And I think it says that the average bee will visit 5,000 flowers. And I don't, I believe that's in a day. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, anyway, okay. Now, question for everybody. How many stages are there in a bee's life? All right. So we'll do a little recap here. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay. And what are those four stages? All right. So go ahead and think about it for a few seconds. And three, two, one. Stage one. The bee, the queen bee, lays the egg. All right, three to four days. Stage two is the larvae. All right, then approximately six days after that, give or take, depending on what type of bee is. Stage three, the pupae. Everybody knows that's when it goes from being like a grub to actually forming into a bee. And that takes, what, uh, about 10 days, give or take. As again, you know, working on type of bee it is. And number four is the adult honeybee. So, four stages there are in the bee's life cycle. First stage, egg. Second stage, larvae. Third stage, pupae. And fourth stage is the adult bee. Okay, what are, let's see, the three or four different types of bees there are in a hive. Okay, first you have the nurse bee. And their basic job is to tend to all the, 
the babies in the hive and to uh, secrete the royal jelly in case they need to make a queen and also to feed all the little bees and to make the bee bread. All right, then you have the forager bee. Their basic job is to just go out and gather all day long. Then you have the drones uh, who, along with the nurse bees, guard the hive and their only other purpose is to mate with the virgin queens when they have them. And then obviously, of course, the last one is the queen itself. Where are we at? All right, so we have different things in the hive that the bees produce. Uh, we'll touch on those a little bit. All right, number one is royal jelly. As I told you, that is secreted from the heads, the glands, and some of the bees. And uh, not only does it make a queen for the bees themselves, but they're also good for human uh, uses as far as being good for toning and strengthening the skin, relieving weak and tired eyes, relieving or eliminating arthritis, and renewing the power of memory. It has also been used to aid in nervous, vascular, and glandular disorders such as diabetes, sterility in women, impotence, impotency in men, and uh, other degenerative diseases. All right, so now we've got bee pollen. Now, as you know, bee pollen has several different uses. Basically, the forager bees will bring it into the hive, and the worker bees, or the nurse bees inside, will take it and chew it up with some nectar and make bee bread. Now, as far as for people goes, bee pollen has been used to retard hardening of the arteries, to strengthen the circulatory system, and combat uh, symptoms of illness and allergies. It is also believed that it can regulate the function of the endocrine system, aid in digestion, reduce stress, and increase alertness and stamina. Stamina. All right, and the final thing is propolis, propolis, depending on who you are and where you are. It is considered to be a very effective natural antibiotic. It is also believed that it increase, can increase the effecti effectiveness of regular antibiotics such as penicillin and others. Uh, it is believed to be particularly effective against circulatory problems including high blood pressure and is also used to fight sinus and bronchial ailments gastrointestinal and skin problems, and many oral problems, including those that cause bad breath. So basically, what we've done today is just give you a little bit of tutorial on different things about bees. Uh, also, I'm going to leave you with one thing, uh, and I'll probably tell you in the next video. Uh, anybody know how much honey a bee will produce in its lifetime? All right, so that's just a good question for you guys to ponder a little bit. You'll really be amazed and shocked exactly how much it is. All right, with that being said, I hope you've learned a little bit more about bees, and uh, hopefully we'll be back soon with some more bee videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Take care.
Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go
Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you mean? We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on this display, this is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I got is work. Working. Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic You can't stop it, it's been chronic Since I was a boy so neurotic and chaotic Go! to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grieving Put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease 